So we've got a new series of My Mad Fed Diary coming up. What can we expect and where do we pick up? Uh, you can expect, hopefully, the, the completion of the story that was sort of kicked off in series one. So I think that uh, there's a lot of stuff that that finds resolution in the last three episodes. That, that of all the all the stuff that kind of you discovered about the characters in in, in the first series. It is the last series. Definitely. It is the last series, definitely. And we you pick up, I think, two years after after series two. Okay. So there's there's a little leap in time because the first one and the second one I think were days apart. You know, in the timeline, and this one's two years later. And where are you all at? What's happening? Where are we all at? <laughs> um, well, where's Archie? Where's Archie? Archie is uh, getting ready to go off to Durham to, to study history. Okay. And uh, I think the other characters have just done their. Um, so some of the girls have just done their exams, and they're also waiting for uni offers. And the uh, Finn's working. And Fay, you're the new girl. Um, what can you tell us about Katie and uh, how did she become introduced to us? So Katie is a, a year older than the guys um, and she was at Stanford in the year above and she's gone to Bristol University so she's she's got out of there. And when Ray is, um, I was going to say auditioning there, she's not auditioning. <laughs> when Ray is being, in, being interviewed for um, university, she does go to Bristol and bumps into Katie and Katie comes back and gives a speech about going to uni and so they rekindle like a, a friendship there and I think Rhea kind of uh, at the beginning anyway looks up to um, to Katie and, and and is sort of quite um, inspired by how she's you know how she's got out of, of Stanford she's gone to uni and she's and she's quite she she presents this quite strong popular sorted really happy in her own skin kind of persona but actually we we find out as time goes on that kind of unravels with Katie and um and in the end <clears throat> it's sort of Ray sort of giving her advice and and yeah it's it's quite a it's quite an interesting uh, interesting relationship that those two have yeah. were you a fan of the show yes massive fan um I keep saying this to everyone I felt like I'd won a competition when I <laughs> on the first day um a Kellogg's competition or something to go and visit the set and the actors and um, yeah I watched it just as a normal human in my in my house with my mates we used to, in fact we used to get like me and, and one of the my mate Gemma we used to uh, make food and get and get wine and it'd be like something that you know all oh, my mad facts on that we need to watch this and um, yeah massive fan I think it's a brilliant show it's, I think it's really important um, to lots of people and it's really mm. special and um, and so yeah it was an honour and a privilege to be allowed to be in it yeah you know, it was quite scary coming into a group of people who know each other very well. But actually, from the first sort of ten minutes, I was like, oh, I was just Sharon, just like this, armor army. And I was in, you know, and um, so I, I had a great laugh on this, and 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 just felt really comfortable straight away with everybody, the crew as well, uh, amazing, and and obviously quite because a lot of them came back, didn't they? Yeah, that's yeah. also been really nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um. So I, I, I felt like I was coming into something very special that was ending and everyone was aware of that. But they were gonna go out in a in a kind of really beautiful way, I guess, and um and it was a pleasure to be around that and to be around everyone, yeah.